at Quibus here. The producer or the owners of Quibus is Intuit International, located in South America. They are the owners of the software called Quibus Accounting. Now, they have some products, I mean many products, but we're just going to look at some of them. The list is endless, but we look at them, especially those ones that are popular and those ones that are available here in uh, Nigeria, so that when you see them elsewhere, it will not be a surprise to you. So, we have text on the list, it's Quibus Pro, the smallest of it all. The number of users it can accommodate is three, only three users. Because it can accommodate only three users, so bigger organization may no want to buy that. And also, the features are limited. The features are limited. The features are limited. Because the features are limited, major and bigger organization, they will not want to get that. So they will go for what? For premium, which has a medium feature. Good features that you can use to manage an average Nigerian company. So, the number of users is what? Five, maximum. You cannot extend it more than five users. So, if you need more than five users, what you need to do is to upgrade to QuickBooks Enterprise. As you can see on the board, you see QuickBooks Enterprise. How many users are you seeing there? 13 yes. users. That is the maximum you can get from QuickBooks Enterprise as sat three years ago. As of three years ago, that is uh, 2018. In the year 2019, it was upgraded to Diamond. And Diamond now brought 40 Jesus. So which I will also talk about here now. Now, look at QuickBooks Enterprise Gold. QuickBooks Enterprise is subdivided into two. As you can see from the board, you can see QuickBooks Enterprise Desktop and you can see QuickBooks Enterprise uh, Cloud. You can see two categories. That is what I mean. Subdivided into what? How many? Two categories. So you have QuickBooks Enterprise Desktop and we have also Cloud. Now, what we what do we mean by let's express explain the one of desktop. QuickBooks Enterprise Desktop means you can only operate this QuickBooks when it is installed in your normal computer. So you cannot access it over the cloud or with the aid of any internet. You cannot do so. So if you if you procure it, you anywhere you go, if it's a laptop, you carry it. But if it's an office, it will be a network for you to be able to use to produce your accounting transactions in the office. Then the cloud. The cloud is powered by internet. You can only use internet to access it. So anywhere you are, you can have access to your database because your database are stored in the cloud. So, you know, this is part of what we are saying about cloud accounting. Cloud accounting came into being 17 years ago in the United States of America. So part of the cloud accounting system is what QuickBooks has developed for us to use. That is cloud enterprise. So that is two. Then we're going for that. We have also other breakdown under desktop and the cloud. What are the breakdown under the, uh, desktop and the cloud? Number one, you have under the, this desktop, you have number one, A here, gold. Uh, can you see it from there, Mr. Imasman? Then B, you have silver. Then C, you have platinum. And you have a uh, diamond. They are all QuickBooks Enterprise, which means they are big. So if you need six users, seven users, 10 users, 20 users in that order, so this is the QuickBooks you buy. The question now arises, which of them are you going to buy? Is it gold, is it silver, or is it platinum for your organization, to manage your organization? So which one? So the consultant, like me, will now give you some questions and you answer. 
your question and answer will now determine the type of quibus you will buy. Because, number one, in terms of capacity, they are also different from each other. So, which means gold, silver, is higher than gold, and platinum is higher than silver, and, and the diamond is higher than the platinum. So, now, the most commonest um, distinctive um, differences is in the art of inventory management. In the art of inventory management. So, now, if you are into service organization, and you are just 10 users, so we advise you to get a goal. We advise you to go get a goal. So, if you are using inventory, and your company is into inventory, inventory management, that is to say, your, com your country, I mean, sorry, your, your company is producing goods and also selling goods. Or you are into importation, or you are into buy and sell distribution, then, therefore, we also advise you, if your, your company is a very bigger one, we advise you to go for silver. Then, if we do now talk about multi warehouses, have you, have you heard of such things? Multi warehouses. Multi warehouses. Whereby you have many warehouses all over the country and all over the globe. You have warehouses all over the globe. E.g., a, com a company like uh, Olam. Have you heard of Olam? Olam, yeah. Nigeria. They are into agricultural products. They produce, they sell, they buy. Have you heard of it? Yes. Okay. So, some company, they are using what we call SAP, some company is using what we call SAP, system application program because it is convenient for them to use because their office is in Singapore because from there they can manage the accounting system for life right from there. They don't need to be here in Nigeria before they can manage that. So that is an example of getting a software to manage your 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 multi warehousing. Your multi warehousing. So you need to understand your system. It's not about stumbling into a software. You say you want to use it. You must understand, and the person must look, know what you want to do with the software before you go ahead. Otherwise, you will not be able to get a good one. So, therefore, if your comp company is into multi warehousing, the right enterprise for you is platinum and the diamond. Platinum and the diamond. That is the right one for you. Why? Because of these special features that the, the two of them has. And what is that uh, the player feature? It is called advanced inventory feature. Discover what? Advanced inventory feature. Look at it. And what is advanced inventory feature? With advanced inventory feature, you will be able to manage multi warehouses. You manage warehouses in Guinea, you manage warehouses in Akura, you manage warehouses in Lagos, and even outside Nigeria. And what are these features that are containing it? One, multi locations, which I've just said. Then, FIFO, that is type of a uh, uh, method, method of a uh, uh, variation. So, it's very, very important. Then, also, barcode, you know, barcode, all goods, many goods in Nigeria now, or on the other side of Nigeria, they have barcode like this. You see something like this? Yes. The normal Quibus, like Quibus Premium, cannot do that. You cannot do that. So if you need a quibus that will be able to do that for you, you, you go for this platinum. Then, also, uh, serialized items. An example of serialized item is your recharge card. If you have, if you have, if it's a show report, it's having uh, MTN, MTN 1000. And how many MTN 1000? If I extend my own with this own, they wouldn't know the difference. They wouldn't know the difference. The only way you can know the difference is with the serial number. The serial number. So that is why a software is needed for that purpose. And that is why uh, QuickBooks Enterprise, Platinum, and Diamond is produced for that kind of accounting. Am I communicating at all? Then next on the list is landing cost. Landing cost. For those of you that are into importation of goods from outside the country, you may have heard of something that is called landing cost. So, prior to this period, landing cost is very, I mean, it was very, very difficult for accountants to, to, to calculate. 
no money. But with the advent of this, if you are using Quibus Enterprise Platinum or Diamond, now the cost will be calculated seamlessly, seamlessly without any major issue there. Then also we talk about stock transfer. Stock transfer. Stock transfer. You know, stock transfer is when you move your stock from the warehouse to where? To the other stores, e.g. in this store. Or they got our uh, Abuja store. When you are using Quibus Enterprise Gold, Quibus Enterprise Sigma, you have one store management. You have what? One store management. Because you have one store management, you cannot transfer with that because the feature is not located in it. So the feature is not located in it, you cannot make any transfer. So if you do transfer, some people here, what they do is by using an invoice, which is wrong. They create the uh, yes. to do that. Yeah, they create the, the, the branches or the warehouses as customers, which is total advertisers with accounting practices. Because when you issue an invoice, you are a lot of things take place. Number one, you are increasing, you are selling telling the system that you already sold these goods. You already invoice it, you already issue it to the a third party. Thereby increasing the, the 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 income of your organization. So then reporting, you have overflowed your income, your turnover. That will bleed. So that is not the way to go. The answer to that is by buying this platinum, diamond and diamond, and it will be able to do stock transfer at cost. At cost. And when you are doing your stock valuation, you do your stock valuation at cost, not as the invoice value or sales value, which is totally wrong. Is there anybody that is good to that here? Is it, are you disputing that, Mr. Chili? So that is it. So that is what you can you see for. I mean, with those people who do not want to go for platinum or diamond, and it's wrong. So, your statement of financial position or management report will be, will, will be wrong. Will be wrong, totally wrong. So, the essence is for you to produce a report. And when you produce a report, what, and it's giving you very, I mean, uh, 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 information that is not correct. So, why are you using that kind of software? Tell me, Mr. Shillipot. Why would you use that one? Then my question then is this. Mm -hmm. Now the those adopting that